Hey y'all, it's Dev, SBMTG, we like it a magic all the things, and we have got a wild one for you. We took part in the early access event for the Brothers War yesterday on stream, and uh, we only built one deck, and we played for about three hours, but we had the time of our lives, man. <laughs> like This deck ended up being really, really cool, but it took us like an hour to get into it and talk about stuff and build it and blah, blah, blah. So I figured instead of including that part of the VOD in the Dang Chank, I would just quickly tech the deck because there's like over an hour of gameplay and it's all just nutso to butso. So let's go, go quickly through over what this deck is actually trying to do. We're playing Portal to Phyrexia, a brand new card, a lot of bub, newish stuff in here, and two of our primary animation targets are both brand new cards. So Portal is a nine mana artifact and it ETBs every, you, your opponent, sacrifices three guys, and then you get to reanimate a dude from a graveyard. Uh, every turn during your upkeep. So it's a reanimation target that you can throw into your graveyard, reanimate with Invoke Justice, or the couple of copies of Repair and Recharge that are in the deck, which also makes a Power Stone token to help you get to Portal in the first place, which is kind of cool. But we have six ways of reanimating Portal in this deck, and it's neat because what the reanimation decks needed without even realizing it, I think, is like a sort of one-sided sweeper that is also a reanimation target, that also reanimates things itself. So it's just like everything the deck wants in one card, and we kind of don't care how much we have to spend to cast it, because we're not really going to be casting it. <laughs> so another thing though, that this deck can do that's really exciting is one with the multiverse, kind of um, an omniscience in a way, um, but we only cast one free spell a turn, but we also kind of get an experimental frenzy. <laughs> Like stapled onto it so we can play stuff off the top of our library. So blast us through land pockets. We can still pay mana for stuff. So we can pay, you know, two, three mana to put, cast stuff off our library. And then maybe if we hit a big card, we can cast that one for free. Um, we can reanimate this with Invoke Justice or Repair and Recharge too, because uh, both of them reanimate enchantments. So there's a lot of times, uh, and you'll see it in the video, where like you reanimate a one with the multiverse after you drop in your yard, and then that allows you to just play the Portal of Phyrexia that's in your hand. And you did that on turn four. <laughs> Just nuts. Aside from that, there's a Jenga Taxius in here. Jenga Taxius is really nice. Uh, you can reanimate this. Um, well, there's actually a few ways to go about it. You don't have to cast it's like any of these cards. Like if you have a Jenga Taxius out and you cast a Portal to Phyrexia, you get to copy it. Which it seems like wouldn't happen too often, but uh, you'll see. <laughs> I guess we actually pull this line off too. And being able to basically, you know, your opponent sacrifices six guys. <laughs> it's yeah, um, ridiculous. And it actually does matter at that point that you have two um, portals out because you know it's a great. It pulls from a graveyard, so you can reanimate your opponent's guys. And again, we'll see that be important a few times. So, Jenga Taxius Portal is kind of the a combo in and of itself. But these are both really good reanimation targets. The whole reason you want to go Jess guy, um, Tyrant of Courage is just one of these, and it's probably win more. But it does win us a couple of games. However, in the games that it wins us, you know, I, we probably could have won otherwise. <laughs> so I just really wanted to play this card. Um, I was looking for another reanimation target that was actually kind of castable. And um, you could play like Sanctuary Warden in this slot or something, but I just really wanted to go for Tyrant and it was somewhat impressive on the night. Aside from that, all of our little stuff, you know, big score, milkshakes for the most part, we got to put our stuff in the graveyard. So Big Score can do that while also ramping us, fixing our mana, that does matter. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is the best card in standard, does everything the deck wants. It allows for turn four reanimation, while also, you know, letting us dump cards in our yard. So it's just, we have to play all four of this. Touch the Spirit Realm can be cut, but the idea with this is that we can, um, in some cases, like, touch the Spirit Realm, um, a Tyrant of Kerr Ridges, and deal an additional four to something. So that's one line, um, but you can, you can also just remove a creature. Restoration of a Ganjo, this allows us to dump stuff in our yards, also a body, you know, ramp in a way, so again, yes, not as good as Fable, but it kind of does some of the same stuff Fable does. Guardian is a body on turn two, we need two drops in the deck, this allows us to dump stuff into our yard, comes up a lot, even though, I'll go ahead and tell you this, because uh, it's I'm super embarrassed about it. I've never enlisted a creature before, I've never done that before last night. Um, and I, it took me a second to figure out the enlist interface, <laughs> to say the least, but... 
Um, interesting card. You know, if you have a one with the multiverse out and a Guardian of New Benelia, you can attack with the Guardian, enlist something, and then when it enlists, you scry two. And that'll allow you to kind of like get the stuff off the top of your library and get something else on top that maybe you cast for free or something. Um, I didn't catch that trick at the time, which is why I'm bringing that tech up now. <laughs> it, it does matter in a game or two. Um, Cathartic Pyre, just, you know, instant speed removal, we need that. That also allows us to milkshake, let's go. And then Bitter Reunion, a very impressive card tonight. I really like the way this thing pans out a lot. Tormenting Voice, that's also a permanent. That means you can reanimate it if you want to. Um, and sometimes you want to, like, invoke justice and reanimate something just to get the counters on your guys. And uh, Bitter Reunion will draw you a bit further in your deck, let you dump reanimation targets into the yard. And also, giving stuff haste matters a lot, too. We get to swing for, like... 12 or something like that, I think it is, um, with a Jenga Taxius and something else, just because Bitter Reunion. So, you can also, this is, this comes up, you can get the Power Stone token from Repair and Recharge, and that helps, that lets you, um, activate the ability on Bitter Reunion, it lets you activate the ability on a Reflection of Kiki Jiki, so, just a really slick deck, and I'm not sure that it's truly gonna be good in a super competitive environment, where no one's out here trying to have fun and play with new cards. Everyone's just trying to win, because you know, we played early access. Um, so I'm not sure that in a deck full of you know, aggro on the play and two mana counter spells, how good this deck actually is. But it looked really good last night, and if nothing else, we did a lot of pretty repulsive, hilarious stuff with it. So enjoy <laughs> all the games, because it should be easy enough to do that. Uh, these games are some of the craziest games we've ever played on stream, so... I don't want to hype them up too much. Um, this deck is just ridiculous and does really fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some Magic. We're up against Holgos Phyrexianos. This first one. They get to go first. Two lander. We do have the two drop, though. We need the three drop for restoration. If we get another land for restoration, we're basically in it. So that's nice. We can drop this portal into the yard with a guardian. So I'm going to try it. Sure. Forge on turn one. Opponent went with Spara's headquarters into planes turn two. Here comes Spirited Companion. Okay. Like the sleeves. Yeah, we got third land. That's good news. Let's Guardian. Throw that bad boy down and say next. We got a plan, ladies and gentlemen. Welcoming Vampire comes down for the opponent. They're still setting up. Feels good. They do not attack. They're getting a little antsy over there. Feels good. <laughs> All right. Guardian is our draw this turn. Let's put down Storm Carved Coast. Let's Restoration. We got both of them in our opening hand. It's cute. Plaints. And say go. Getting set up. We can big score. Really wish we could ramp a little more easily with this deck. They play Wedding Announcement. They're just still doing normal things. That's good. Here they come with Welcoming Vampire. Really wish that we could get the uh, portal this turn, but I don't think it's going to happen. So they draw off a of Vamp. Let's go. Okay, let's discard... Do I want to discard Guardian? Ramping here doesn't do much. Like if you know, if I if I play a land here, it doesn't do much. Um, if I discard a land here and then get it back, because I'm gonna be big scoring this turn anyway. It looks like definitely how we're gonna spend our turn. So yeah, let's discard Guardian. Bang bang. Play the planes. Sega. They might, they have blue mana untapped, and, and, you know, they can, like, disdainful stroke on this mana, so I'm actually kind of, I was considering big scoring on our turn, but they only have one mana untapped. We'll see what happens. I'm not super worried about this yet. Uh, the problem is if we portal this coming up turn, they're still gonna have a welcoming vampire out, which I'm not, like, super happy about. Cassie is welcome. That's a good card. We're going to draw two cards this turn. 
Oh, resolute reinforcements. That kind of, again, that sucks for our portal plan. Eh, they're tapped out. Let's big score. Drop that portal. We get two lands. Figure for what it's worth, we do this before they draw, you know? Here they come with Vampire, we'll go to 16. Okay, so they definitely have stuff to sack the portal, so that's not going to matter as much. Wedding announcement is a pain. The Jenga Taxis, is there a way to get that into our graveyard? Like a real way? You just play it. You just play Jenga Taxis this turn. That's interesting. Isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Let's take the repair and recharge. Um, this gives us a tap power stone token. That means that if we draw a land next turn, that we can play the other portal, which is nice. So they'll just sack three one ones here. And then Enlist this one? Wait. What? I've never enlisted a creature before in my life. Uh, what? Undeclare. Enlist? This guy? Yeah, I've never done this. I've never enlisted a creature before. I've never enlisted a creature. That is extremely confusing on the online interface. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not just stupid and that that was also confusing for you the first time you ever saw it. <laughs> it's so weird. What? <laughs> it's... Huh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Figure it out. Yeah, I messed it up the first time. It is very confusing. Thank you for making me feel better. Just never had occasion to enlist a creature before. <laughs> What do they do this turn? Untap land and we have it, so we can portal. But I assume they'll play more guys, you know. If they attack with two dudes, which they very likely won't, they get to draw. Um, if they make a guy with that wedding announcement, which they very likely will, then again, they get to sack down to Welcoming Vampire. Here comes Wedding, or uh, Wedding, <laughs> Wandering Emperor. Let's discard the Jenga Taxius uh, at some point here soon. Just it's gotta be tapped for you to exile it. We're looking at our architect. You gonna make the 2 2? Yeah, you want. Oh, they're not. Interesting. Interesting. Remember it's coming in, buddy boy. Yeah. We go to 13. They only make they make a guy with wedding announcement, which means they draw two more cards. This is gonna just murder us before it's all said and done. Man. Okay, it's the end of their turn. Let's. It's still not the right timing. I just want to make sure I don't miss it. Actually, I actually haven't played Magic in like three days. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't miss it. Okay, so we get a free Jenga Taxis this turn. Pretty nice. Let's play the Sakins. Sure. And let's portal. And that is a turn. <laughs> that feels pretty good, you know. Sack three boys. Bing bong bing. <laughs> Second portal. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's uh, kill this wandering emperor. I know we. De you attack. You attack. Kill the emperor. You protect, <laughs> and you attack. All right, get a one-one, and life is okay. Back to wandering. Feels all right. Feels all right to copy a portal to Phyrexia. We actually did it in the first game, guys. But opponent has a million cards in their hand. Let's see if they can recover. It's 
It's not unlikely, I guess. <laughs> Fun stuff, man. <laughs> Fun stuff. <laughs> even if we even if we die, we did the thing. Oh man. Oh, oh, from a graveyard. Oh, from a graveyard. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I'd love to do that. Oh, I would just love to do that. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I should have picked the welcoming vampire last. <laughs> oh my god, we get another portal. Oh jeez. Oh man, what if uh what if I <laughs> This is silly! <laughs> Just throwing that out there, this is really silly. So let's swing. They have to destroy all of our portals. Like even if they sweep, we still just start we just reanimate dudes. It's not fair. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Here comes Wandering Emperor. Oh, a Wandering Emperor. Okay. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, please, please kill that ginger. Yes. Yes. They go to 15. But they take 8. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, let's draw. Why not? Like, well, why not draw? Now, I could kill that Emperor right now, or I could just continue to have all the fun in the world. Now, the Jenga, yeah, the Jenga Taxi is exiled, so let's let's play this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hogos Phyrexianos! Ah! What a game! Man, okay, so... That's one of those where if we don't do anything else all night, we did it. Like, we did the thing, guys. We have three portals on the table, and... <laughs> So crazy. Opponent goes. Oh man. We need a third land again, but we might be able to get it. We might be able to get it. If we don't draw it by turn two, I might not play Guardian. I might play Guardian or uh, Cathartic Pyre. Try to draw into it. Because we gotta get to this fable. Gotta get some land too. We gotta we got a ramp, so the fable helps there. A Ganjo, turn one for Gunner Game Pop. Turn one, Sundown, there's the third land. So, kind of in business a little bit. We go Brush Land, good to see a Brush Land. Here comes Resolute Reinforcements, man, all these token stacks, what are you doing? I think we'll play Guardian in this spot, yeah. I'll never get over the first game. <laughs> See, we go. oh, second brush land, nice Good stuff. They join the dance, cool. Really good against portal, and they know it. Our turn. That's well, deserted beach. Fable of Zamirabeka. Fable. Man, are we gonna do this? Like, <laughs> uh, amazing. All right, let's attack. Sure, right? You know, get one in. Nothing. All right. In the turn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We can do this. We can do this. Here comes King Darian. Yikes! Gonna be yikes. Let's take eight. They probably get in, you know. Yeah, they do. None blocks. Should have not attacked. <laughs> In case you want to know what I did wrong there, it was I should not have attacked. So now we'd be at 14, they'd be down a creature. It'd be awesome. Could have just discarded a fable, but I didn't really want to take that route. Discard restoration in one of these two lands. The problem is oh thank you. Oh oh what a, oh what a draw, what a draw, what a draw. Alright, let's get, 
Let's send this little goblin to his doom. Sorry about that, Gobbo. Ooh. 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 God, that feels good. <laughs> that feels good, baby. Oh, goodness. Goodness. God gracious. Ah, oh, this is going to be sexy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You take the block, King Darien. That's cool. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, big boy. Big boy. You you come here. You. You here. You will come. Oh, my God. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, we get a free portal if this resolves, which it should, right? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, hot dog. Let's go. Portal of Fire Axie. Oh, oh, is there something else I might want to... Yeah, I don't think so. I'm just, like, double checking. Yep. Okay. Okay, let's portal. Let's portal for absolutely free! <laughs> what is the world coming to? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, lord. <laughs> it's ridiculous, dude. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> no about y'all. Sack your tokens. Come on. Please. They sack the reinforcements. That means I get to get it back. I get it next turn. I wonder if they know that. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. All right. So fifth land is as far as headquarters. Four untapped. They got two dudes. We got a six six that can go indestructible if we wanted to. So you know. Nothing wrong with that. Here comes Wandering Emperor. It's a lot like the last game. We're at 12, they're at 16. Let's see what they go for here. You'll be safer. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> so ridiculous. <sighs> <sighs> what a day for a daydream. How is this work? How do we have how do we have a one with multiverse and a portal to Phyrexia out at the same time? How is that happening? <laughs> like Oh man, just ear to ear. I needed this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Crazy, crazy stuff. All right, our turn. Let's get that reinforcements, bud. Thank you, thank you. We have not won this game. I just want to throw that out here. We have not won this game yet. Alright, so we get a reflection. I can play a free fable. Play a free repair and recharge and get back a restoration of Iganjo. Or I can play uh, Storm Carved Coast off the top of my library. And I, have, I should do that regardless. Oh, that's another land. Five mana. Five manas. Free this. Well, actually, what we want to do is free this. Yeah, free repair and recharge. Get back restoration. Get our basic. That'll shuffle our library. Ooh, invoke on top. Okay. And Fable, Cathartic Pyre. Do I want a Cathartic Pyre away? I'm going to do it this turn, too. Do I want to do it to the Wandering Emperor or the King Darien? Interesting call there, too. I could have also um, drawn two and discarded some amount of cards to, again, like, reset the top card of my library. So now I feel like, and again, I can, again, attack, attack a little bit more, you know, and it's, it's okay. It's like, what I really wanted to do was be able to attack, and I can't do that, really, with Emperor on the table. But maybe they just have another Emperor in their hand. They go to ten... 
in the turn. Oh, they have a dispenser. Okay. Neat. Okay, so they get to draw EOT, and they don't have mana to make dudes, but they can start making dudes. 5-7 dispenser. It beats the uh, Guardian. Which isn't great. They only have one open over there. Let's see if we can get something for free off of this. I don't think we can. I guess we can get a free planes ramp. Sure. Do I wanna? Yeah. Sure. Get a sundown pass off the restoration. Fable's gonna let us discard. Um, and I might. No. No. Maybe I want the counters. Maybe I just want those. I'm gonna pay the mana for cathartic. Ooh, do I want to actually swing in first? Yeah. We copy something, probably resolute reinforcements. But maybe we can do that later, actually. I think it matters doing it on attacks. I think I might be able to blow them out. So again, I'll take an attack right here with the Guardian and see if they take the block. And then if they do, we can just blow up the King Darien with the Cathartic Pyre. Yep. So that should be okay. Do they have a way to protect it? There's probably multiple ways in their deck protecting guys. Maybe. Maybe they all the protection they need is King Darien, right? So they don't play like one mana protect my guy stuff. Tamio safekeeping. Like, safekeeping would be a great call right here. Nope, they just take the sack. They take the sack. And they lose their dispenser. Which is pretty much exactly what I wanted to happen. Let's play the Deserted Beach off the top. That's a Repair and Recharge. Doesn't do anything? Yeah. Kind of sucks that it doesn't do anything. Kind of sucks. Hmm. Anything else I'm doing this turn? I think I'm going to copy the Resolute Reinforcements EOT. Yeah. Okay. We can grab that King Dairy in this turn, dude. Uh, so that's going to make um, copying the Resolute Reinforcements pretty sick. Let's go. <laughs> can we grab the Dispenser, actually? Ah, oh, they're going to get rid of our um, Guardian. That was a good run. Finally, I'm home. <laughs> still, we get Dairy, and it doesn't really keep us from, you know, we're, we can still attack, so that's fine. Good game here, though. We're both at 12. Officially. <laughs> After that. Alright, so let's copy the reinforcements. They stick around for a turn. Let's. I want this dispenser, though, right? We can get the dispenser next turn. Let's attack. I just want to, I want to attack. Parent recharge comes off the top. We get another reflection. Two reflections on the table at the same time is uh, bad news for opponent. There's a guardian on top of our library. Good to know. So, is it at all possible to alpha this turn? Is that a thing that we can actually do? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14... 14, that is alpha. Well, 
let's just get into the Emperor. I don't think we have to win this game right now. I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> but, I mean, we're only going to keep generating value. We'll get Platoon Dispenser next turn if they don't do anything about Portal. It's like, we're going to uh, uh, Guardian of New Medallia right now. Let's pay the mana for that. Eh, kind of backfired a little because, you know, land on top. It's whatever. All right, so this turn we have one, two, three, four, five mana to copy stuff with reflection. So cool. Because we'll copy reflection, copy reflection, copy reflection, copy reflection is how we go about doing this. They'll all be tokens, so they'll all be three threes. They join the dance. They're running out of mana. They just want to draw. They have two mana left. And I'm pretty sure this is the turn where we close in. My own hot stuff. Don't scoot. Whatever you do, don't scoot. Alright, so they pass. We have two reanimation spells just waiting. Like, please give us something to do, you know? Alright, copy reflection in case you've somehow never seen this trick before. Copy reflection, which copies reflection, which copies reflection, which copies reflection, which copies reflection. Which copies reflection. Which then um, copies reflection. See, see what that does. It's nice. So let's get uh, something. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, we got platoon dispenser, which is pretty hilarious. Let's keep the Atara in our hand, I guess. Ooh, let's play bitter reunion off the top for free. Not free. Let's discard the repair and a charge. Draw two. Land on top. Let's play that. Ooh, big score. Sure. Let's just pay the, pay the four for that. Discard land, land. Well, yeah. You just have to discard a card. Let's discard land. Draw two. Ooh, Tyra Care Ridges for free. Let's go, baby. What a turn. Look at what we're doing, by the way. Oh, look at that. We have a bunch of reflections out, don't we? Oh, that's really funny. We got a bunch of reflections out. Let's copy that Tyrant of Care Ridges again. Still four to you. Let's copy that Tyrant of Care Ridges again. Still four to you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> wow, what a deck, dude. <laughs> screenshot that. Oh my god, screenshot that battlefield. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh my god. What have we done? Ah, tell your friends. That's why you need a copy of Tyrant. That's why you need one copy of Tyrant in the deck. Oh my god. Um, let's see, we go first. Look at this hand. Like, <laughs> it's deserted beach. Alright, Sir Fly Senior Flyers is our opponent for this one. God. Alright, that's Guardian. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Our turn. Oh, it's a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. The absolute perfect thing we could have drawn this turn. You gotta remind me to thank the Arena Gods. Take some pain for this, but I don't care too much. They're playing Titania over there. They might hit the mill. That would be nice to see that happen. Third land is Overgrown Farmland. See if they get some lands in their yard. Oh, they're, dude, they're doing both the melds. Nice. All the melds. Dot deck. Alright, Lord Protector is down. What do you actually do? That stuff costs less to cast. Okay. Actually, I don't have to do this. I can just discard both of these this turn, which is... Okay, 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 don't freak out. <laughs> we drew one with the multiverse. Oh, I love magic, dude. I love this is a really good game, guys. It's easy, it's an easy game. Oh my god. <sighs> oh jeez. Alright, so let's let's get it. Sorry, goblin man. Sorry, little gobbo. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's invoke justice. I am tickled. Uh, I'm so tickled. Let's target us. Let's make this guardian huge. And uh, let's just throw down. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! Okay. So like, I kind of want the Gitaxia so I can copy the portal, you know? But like, does it really matter? I want to get rid of that Urza right now, which I think is probably better. Oh my god! What is this deck? <laughs> it's ridiculous. They gave us a nice. <laughs> I've never laughed this much, like, just in pure joy. Here comes Urza. Okay. Cool. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's get there, Urza. <laughs> There's another one of these. On the top of the library. But I think we had to play Jin. <laughs> we get to we get to Jin Gitaxius Fable this turn. That's Jeez Louise, they gave us a good game and get out of here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, we're up against uh, Hexaman. We gotta lose a game. <laughs> we absolutely must. Alright, this hand does not look as good. Let's let's be honest with ourselves. But we can we still have a turn five reanimate if we get the lands, so let's try it. If we get the land uh Garden, turn one. We got a Cathartic Pyre, that's good. Opponent's on like blue black. Ooh, Surge Engine, okay. It's good to see. We got a big score, it's also good to see. Sega. Let's see if they spend mana on the Surge Engine. They do! Well, let's not do it just yet. Pass into combat. Let's try and kill it. Let's see if it works. May not. It does! Nice. And Evolve Sleeper. Okay, so there's some sort of blue-black like tempo deck. There's an Invoke Justice. That's cool. Restoration of Iganjo this turn. They don't spell pierce it. That's good. That's good news. Basic plaints. So we have the mana that we need. That's good. We're going to take some shots here. Hopefully that's okay. Gix. Okay. That's Gix. So they pay one and draw one. Then they say go. We got a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. That's neat. Processing. Yeah. Take the planes. Take that ramp. Play mountain. And then I guess we say go in big score. I think that's just more reliable than, um. Actually, do I want a big score now? No. I get the feeling they'll counter a big score, though. I really do. And then we'll be in trouble. But maybe maybe they can't resist like playing a creature first or something. Here they come. They don't spend any mana on Sleeper, which is not a good sign for us. They draw two. This is a pretty good situation to be in with Gix. Drawing cards with open mana, and you know, you can just counter spells that try to deal with Gix. And you're probably drawing into those counters, so. They invoke despair, though. Hmm. That's actually pretty good news for us. Sure. We got the value we wanted out of the enchantment, I think. So whatever. Let's big score. Discard this portal. And we should be able to reset board state here. So I can one with multiverse first, and then repair, which is probably what we want to be doing. Okay. 
right, land on top. Yeah, this is right. Because we get the portal this way, and then next turn we get the Gix out of their yard, which is pretty pretty good. We're at nine, though, so we got to start worrying. Like, a couple of invokes just, like, kills us. So. Matter of fact, invoke would take out our one with the multiverse, which we don't want, but it's kind of the value that we want, so I guess. Opponent has tons of mana. Shieldred, huh? Gotta kill that. You know what can actually make you bigger? I'll go with Gigs. We draw, that hurts. We got a seven. Let's play the Sakinzen off the top. Ah, there's another land. That sucks. Yeah, I guess I'll Fable here. It did stick a little. Counterspell. Might be in their hand. Yeah, I want to do this, I guess. Find our basic plan, see what we get off the top. Guardian. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Another land on top. It's really lame. But this way I feel a little protective, but we gotta get that Shieldred off the table. We don't have all the turns in the world. Go for the throat. Target's a token, they're smart. We can kill the shielder. We can get it, which I which I would really like. Problem is, I'd like to draw cards off of this fable next turn, but that's not the best idea. Puppeteer. Okay. Puppeteer's nice. And Kaito Shizuki used all their mana this turn. We'll go to five. They draw the game two, they go to 21. This one's not looking good. Um, we need to... What removes this? Uh, another portal? Yeah. We need it. At least they didn't remove the Gix this turn. That's interesting. God. That hurts. <laughs> <coughs> This is kind of like the Black Burn deck I was talking about earlier. I just want to burn us out. Oh my god, there's another land on top of our library. That's ridiculous. We go to three. Discard the card they know about. Get some ramp. We have to decline. Land off the top. Another land? Are you joking? Oh no, it's happening, guys. Alright, well I think we lose this one because they're just going to activate uh, Kaito, get a ping off of Gixian, and then we die on the next turn. So it was fun while it lasted, but you know. Things like this happen. I guess I don't have that. Hmm. I only have like... Yeah, okay. I did have two blue. Well, that's it. I guess I got a good game the opponent, but it was it was in fact a good game. <laughs> we finally had one we lost. <laughs> Man. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff to opponent. Hexaman VIP. 
you get the distinction of being the first one to murder us <laughs> tonight. <laughs> yeah, listing would have allowed me to change the top. Ah, try to get the portal. Try to get the portal. I forgot that it scries. Was my maybe we had a shot at portal there? Maybe we had a shot at portal, man. Maybe we did. Yeah, new cards. Yeah, I completely forgot. That's an old card, Guardian. I just completely forgot that it's scribed when it enlisted. We go first. Hand is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, hand's fine. <laughs> Why not? It's Battlefield Forge. Bitter Reunion turn two. Kind of go from there. Hello, they say. Let's give them one as well. It's Rahini Rahiniki the YouTuber, VIP. Um, Mountain. Bitter Reunion. What do we discard here? Iganja, or not Iganja, but um, Jinky Taxis. Sure, we draw Planes and Restoration. Restoration's pretty good for next turn. Opponent goes Battlefield Forge. They may just be aggro. Goldhound comes down. They take a plane. A point of pain for that. Ooh. Well, it's restoration. Wish I had another way of discarding, aside from just restoration. So I would like the ramp. We go to 19. They play a sundown pass and do nothing. That's kind of amazing. If I get the ramp, I can go ahead and get the Jenga Taxius. And I can get closer to the Tyrant, you know? I mean, the ramp is pretty good. The ramp is pretty good. If I discard the one with Multiverse, I can just play it. <laughs> it's going to be really difficult to do otherwise. Ah, I'll get the ramp. Oh, we want the ramp. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> we'll play out of car wastes. And we'll say go. Thanks, Hexman, for the follow. Hey, you just beat me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good job, bud. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hexaman's here, everybody. <laughs> Love the reanimate deck. Thanks, man. Our opponent, everyone. What a gracious opponent. Your deck was cool, too, by the way. I like uh, Puppeteer a lot. What are we doing? Where are we? Whose turn is it? <laughs> I don't even know. I guess it's mine. Yeah, here they come. Sorry, opponent over there. My opponent from last game. I had to talk to them. It's, they had a cool deck. Alright, our turn. So Kenzen's the draw. Let's get our 3-4. Play this land. Sure. And then invoke. Let's get our Jin. Also make a huge guy doing this. We take a couple points of pain. Kind of sucks, but whatever. They give us a nice... Bing bong. And why not make the Jin bigger, I guess. A 5-6 and a 7-7. Seven, seven. We just give, give it haste? <laughs> sure. Feels good. Swing 12. What are you going to do about that, big boy? <laughs> and Vigilance, and we get a guy too, so we can block. Like, man, what a line. <laughs> sure. Seven men in next turn, we can play Tyrant. And maybe just kill them. <laughs> See if they sweep, or... I don't even know what their deck does. I. They play Goldhound. Brotherhood's end, okay. So, counter that. <laughs> they wanted to destroy all the artifacts. Good game. Good game. Let's block their hound. And block their hound. Actually, you know what? It's a damage. Fine. It's, you know, whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's just play. I'd rather just play Tyrant than do any of this other stuff. Put him at two. Crash in like I'm Dave Matthews. <laughs> this deck has been so silly, guys. 
<laughs> the dead break the format. Close, <laughs> but not really. <laughs> not really. I'm pretty sure this deck is just one of those like early access like crazy piles that looks really good and it's actually kind of not like, in a real format where people are playing one and two drop creatures on the play and uh, counter spells and stuff. You know, just, I'm not sure how good this deck actually is, but it's been a hell of a time so far, man. <laughs> We go first. Double bitter. We got a bunch of two drops. We really ought to get a, a, a third land off of all this. But what we need is action. Also, we, we need another land that we can actually play on tap next turn. We'll be fine. It'll be alright. As far as headquarters, we didn't get the land. So, so basically our opponent kind of got to go first. Kind of. Because we're not going to play Reunion until this turn. Maybe we get Untap Land to play Fable and it's kind of okay. Mine Worker? Nice! Nice! Alright, so we have three of the... What a hand! We have nothing but duplicates in our hand. This is Poker. We are well beyond a full house. We have a full house plus another pair. Alright, Bitter Reunion. I think I can discard a Bitter Reunion. <laughs> Probably. Something we can reanimate. Like, yeah, there's two lands. Let's go. Plaints. Yeah. And Sega. Rather have all this removal because they're trying to assemble Mine Power Plant Tower. One would assume. Mine Worker crashes in. And we go to 18. Our turn. Invoke. Good draw. Very good draw. So let's play Battlefield Forge and Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I got half a mind here. Yeah, sure. Let's activate this. Give this guy haste. Try and get in for two. Let's see if they uh, bounce it or something. Nope, they let it attack. Nice. Look at that. That's something Bitter Reunion can do right there. Give Gabo haste. Go ahead and pay you back a mana. Whatever. That's effective ramp. If we don't draw a land next turn... Ooh, they have a, a Liberator. You get bigger when you cast big stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you'll cast like Wandering Emperor and Liberator gets bigger. Unless you go Urza. If you go four mana Urza this turn, that's actually really good. You swing for like four with Liberator. Alright, what do we want to discard? What sucks is that we haven't really got anything to invoke yet. And that's kind of balls. Now, hmm. Hmm. I guess I can get rid of a Cathartic Pyre. Sure. We get a reunion. Man, we just keep drawing all the two drops like all of our duplicate two drops are drawing all right so let's try and pop in with the shaman out of car waste taps for surge engine Sure. Yeah, they can't cast something with that's bigger than its power, so I could cathartic power away this surge engine, which might be the right idea right now, actually. Could also play Fable. So that's kind of tough. I don't like you. I'm going to get rid of you. Right? Yes, I am. Okay, good. <laughs> good news. <laughs> Alright, Deserted Beach. And then I can Fable... Hmm, do I actually want to do that? Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. Yeah, sure. Sure. I want I want to draw into stuff. 
Need some stuff. Probably discard this bitter reunion, but I don't know. The bitter reunion's okay. Give stuff haste. Hmm. I'm also playing this one weirdly because I don't know exactly what they're doing over there, but we'll see soon. I assume it's an Urza deck. Here comes a power plant worker. That's a 4-4, four, four, baby. Watch out for that. We draw another Fable. We've literally drawn nothing but the same cards all game. That's amazing. Alright, discard Reunion. Discard Fable at this point. There's a Jenga Taxis. We can play it this turn. Okay, cool. I can also... Is there a way to discard a thing? I guess I got rid of all of those. Look at that, guys. Three Bitter Reunions, three Cathartic Pyres. Fable of Mirror Breaker, Fable of Mirror Breaker. It's, what's going on? <laughs> you know? Okay, so they block with the power plant, work, plant worker. We figured that would happen. Let's uh, Jenga Taxis, and now whenever they try to cast artifacts, they get countered, and I bet they forget that the first time they try to cast an artifact. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Yeah, buddy. Sorry. Sorry, complete commander. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we want we go one. first. We need things to actually discard, but hand looks fine. Sundown pass. Hello, Lev Dev. Hey, I know you, Lev Dev. You have, uh, like, twice my name. <laughs> it's a bitter reunion. I guess we drop a land here. And see what we get. Big score and a sundown pass. No blue sources yet, but that's mostly fine. Opponent goes deserted beach, so they are Jeskai as well. No three drop this turn. Good to know. Bit of reunion. I think I'm gonna pitch the uh, cathartic pyre. No, I could have gone restoration there, but I want to draw two this turn. Yep, yep. That's exactly why I wanted to do that. Cool. So we can drop that with big score EOT and then immediately invoke justice. Hopefully it works out. This opponent has access to blue mana over there, so. You know, nothing's guaranteed. Let's go for it. Say go. Urza, huh. The Liberator, as it were. I think I'll go ahead and big score. Drop one with the multiverse. Draw two, get our two treasures. Hey, it's a portal, nice. Seven mana. We can cathartic pyre that into our yard and reanimate it if we'd rather. We might. This game we have all the white mana that we need for invoke. That's good. Just coming in for one with Liberator? Yeah, that's all. Go to 19. Our turn. Hmm. All of their mana open, huh? Every single bit of it? Let's try it. We got another invoke, so if we, we miss on the first swing, we can try again. Take two points of pain. That's fine. We're 19. Don't have any creatures, but that's okay. Wonder if it uh, just hangs on the stack and gets counterspelled. Let's find out. Nope. She's in play. She is in play. Let's portal Phyrexia, kids. Bank Buster. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> you draw your card? Yeah, they do. Okay. Four mana draw card. Get rid of that Liberator. Get out of here. I guess that was the thing to do, though. Okay, so we can Cathartic Pyre. Doesn't really do much, though. 
It does draw us through that Cathartic Pyre. We've already played our free spell that turn. They will abrade the portal. That's fine. I don't really have anything in here that I'm going to do anything with this turn. Although, do you? <laughs> yeah, I can get their Urza, I guess. But, big deal. They draw off a of Bank Buster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I don't need mana. Who needs mana? I don't need treasure tokens. I get a free spell every turn. Alright, discard the Aganjo and the restoration of Aganjo. Sure, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Fable on top, let's draw that. Land on top, kind of lame. Big score on top, much better. Alright, so I say that we spend the mana on big score, but what would we discard? Cathartic Pyre? Yeah. Spend the mana on big score, discard Cathartic Pyre. We draw a Repair and Recharge on a Plains. So we can Repair and Recharge for free. Oh my god, there's a Phyrexian Portal on top of our library. We just do that for free. Sure. Sure. That way we get to blast through the top of our library a little bit faster. And we get to play Fable. And we're looking pretty good. <laughs> so we're looking okay, you know? Let's pay the one with our treasure token because, again, land is not really super important. And it pays us right back with the treasure token anyway. Puts two on our opponent. Fifth mana for the opponent. Here comes Arcane Proxy. Nice. Okay. We're going to um, abrade again. <laughs> Just keep getting rid of our portal. It's a, it's a real... It's really... It's comedy. Comedy, comedy, comedy. Destroy target artifacts. Yep. Two mana left, they can draw, which they do. Okay. Now they're tapped out, so... Let's try and do something nasty to them, Sherman. Anything here? No. Okay. Go. Okay, there's a bitter reunion on top. We can discard up to two. I think we just discard these lands. Draw land on top. Let's play that. Fable on top. That's cute. Well, let's pay the mana for Fable and see what else is lurking underneath. Okay, it's another land. Then, let's invoke Justice for free. Absolutely free. Target ourselves. They have to sack their two guys. We get in for a million. Seems good. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Submit. Get a bunch of mana back from this, too. Given them haste. I should have given them haste with the uh, bitter union there. One, two, three, four, five, six mana left. We still have six mana left. Are you joking? What all's in here that we can get back? Get back bitter reunion. That's kind of cute. Restoration. We can get another portal back. That's kind of cute. But let's just kind of hold for now, I guess. I don't see a reason to do anything. Yeah, I really don't. It could have been. It could be a mirror. Here comes Urza's Silex kid. One, two, three, and they have it too. Okay, so that's actually fine. <laughs> that's actually totally fine. Oh man, yeah, destroy all of the permanents. That's cool. Whatever. Yep. <laughs> this is amazing. Like, seriously, this is incredible. Alright, so choose six lands. I want white source, white source, blue source, blue source, white source, white source. Blow everything up. Pass. 
So Kenzen. Ah, let's just repair and recharge. Get back our thing that lets us play free magic. Pretty sexy. Hey, let's play some free magic. Repair and recharge. Get back the portal. Just set up, you know. Just feels good. But planes. Sure, yeah. Play this just because I can. Discard this. Draw Phyrexian Portal and another card. Ooh, there's a Tyrant on top. Let's attack for two. We go to 12. <laughs> Arcane Proxy, all right. What you got this time? Anything? Something, right? You ain't got nothing. It's just a 2-1. Ouch. You could have cast that for seven. That means you have something else? No, you couldn't have. No, you couldn't have. But you didn't... Pff, I don't know. I don't know. Reckon or Bank Buster. One mana left. Okay. I think I'll take your Liberator. This is so I can play Portal Phyrexia at instant speed for... Zero mana? Once during each of your turns. Okay, so you can't do that. That would be too much. <laughs> is there anything down here I want to invoke? I guess I could get back another Portal. <laughs> it's ridiculous what this thing can freaking do, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus power stones. I'm just checking my mana. Tyrant of Courages. Boost the battle copter or whatever. Um, hit you for four in the head, and then I'd love to be able to touch the spirit realm. But nah, let's just free Phyrexian portal here. It's, it's just, I don't understand. And then we can give all the dudes haste. And win the game. So. My goodness! <laughs> I am very happy with what we've done here tonight.